I don't wear my other Super Bowl rings, and I, I don't even know where they are. You have to ask my wife that. But. Fans will remember Jay Novacek's days as a cowboy, but they might mm. forget. Got cutting trophies down here. From he was a cowboy. It's basically, it's who I am. That's what I enjoy doing out in that country lifestyle. A lifestyle not even the mighty NFL could change. Yeah, I, I uh, rode horses and, and played at the same time, and I'm sure they didn't really like that a whole lot. At the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame in Fort Worth, they have more than 160 honorees, but only three have worn both cowboy hats. Novacek, Randy White, and perhaps the most cowboy cowboy to ever cowboy for the Cowboys. Walt Garrison is, I mean, he was a cowboy. Let me introduce another of Walt Garrison's talents. He is a whittler. I would listen in about a day and a half. I mean, just on and on. In this 1973 well, WFAA I, training camp report, yeah, archived in the SMU Jones Film Library, Walt Obviously, spent time yeah. between well, practices yeah. whittling yeah. away yeah. with Vern Lundquist. And people say, well, how'd you get the ball in there? Well, I didn't really. It was already in there. You know? Ironically, his days as a Dallas Cowboy ended in 1975 because of an injury he suffered as a rodeo cowboy. In his room at Baylor Hospital, Walt was philosophical about his injury, the first he's ever received in a rodeo. Like a football injury, it just, it's things that happen and you have to learn to live with it. But his woodwork sits proudly alongside his sports accomplishments, here where they celebrate all kinds of cowboying. The cowboy hat or the cowboy helmet? Hat. <laughs> more comfortable? <laughs> a lot more comfortable. And <laughs> normally people don't hit me with this hat on. <laughs> in Fort Worth, I'm Chris Sadeke. Boy, I love this story, and it reminds me, too, speaking of, you know, athletes who were ranchers or cowboys in the offseason, Nolan Ryan famously was ranching when he wasn't pitching for baseball. They don't make them like they used to. I think that's what I'm getting at. Well, and I think it's interesting, too, because, you know, with ranching, with being a cowboy, there is a certain amount of threat to your physical body off the field, so if you're willing to risk it like he was... That says a lot. Hey, and you know, when it comes to Walt Garrison, maybe all that uh, cowboying toughened him up for the football field. I can't imagine it wouldn't do anything less. <laughs>